I really appreciate you joining me again today and this news comes from Liverpool. Thank you to everybody that has watched the two stories from Manchester in the past few days. And it seems that Liverpool has seen violence on a similar scale to Manchester as well. There are two stories that I'm going to discuss, but before we start, I want to pay my respects to Rhys Jones as well. It's been 15 years since the schoolboy was shot dead in Liverpool when he was caught in the crossfire of gang violence. And in this first story, police haven't ruled out that the boy that was shot dead may not have been involved in anything that would have led to this happening. The victim was shot in the Dingle on Tuesday night, the 16th of August, and police have identified him as 22-year-old Sam Rimmer from the Bootle area. Sam was on Lavrock Road at 11.40pm when two bikes, electric bikes, drove to the cul-de-sac and fired a number of shots towards the group. As a result, Sam was injured and and despite the best efforts of officers, he died at hospital a short time later. Detective Chief Superintendent Mark Kamen said, This is a despicable attack that has led to the death of a young man who had his whole life ahead of him. His life has been tragically cut short and his family are desperately trying to come to terms with their loss. Police are currently searching CCTV and trying to trace witnesses from the actual incident as well. Police are carrying out door-to-door -door inquiries and also trying to gather dash cam footage. Nobody has been arrested in relation to this case yet, but I definitely keep you updated with this story. And I want to send my condolences to the family of Sam Rimmer and also his friends as well. In this second story coming from Liverpool also, a woman has been shot dead in a back garden. This is the first time in 17 years that a woman has been shot dead in Liverpool. Officers were called to an address on Leinster Road at 12.40am following reports of concerns for a woman at the property. Emergency services attended and the woman in her 20s was found in the back garden with gunshot wounds to the body. Paramedics attended to her and she was taken to hospital but died a short time later. She has not been formally identified, but her family have been contacted and have been supported by the police. Detective Superintendent Mark Baker said, The investigation is in the very early stages. We understand the public are shocked and concerned by what has happened, and we understand that there is a lot of fear in the community. A woman has lost her life today, and we want to reassure the public that we will do everything we can to confirm the cause of death and find out why and who did it. Similar to the other case, police are carrying out house-to-house -house inquiries, CCTV, and forensic officers were also seen in the local area. And Detective Chief Superintendent Mark Kamen said in this case, This is a very shocking incident that led to the death of a woman. I understand this is a very frightening incident and members of the public and in the local area are speaking to the police and expressing their concern. So I really appreciate you joining me for this breaking news story and I'll definitely keep you updated on both of these cases as well. Thank you to everybody that has supported the channel and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.